Okay, we're going to uh, go over uh, example problem 15-7. Uh, Again, it's on page 810. And this is for a sales type of lease where we're counting it from the lease or standpoint. So, our problem is uh, Nutrilabs uh, leased a protein, protein analyzer to Warner Chemical on September 30th, 2009. It was manufactured at the cost of $5 million. The five-year lease agreement calls for Werner to make quarterly lease payments of $391,548, payable at September 30th, December 31st, March 31st, and June 30th, with the first payment due immediately at September 30th, 2009. Mm -hmm. uh, Nutri Labs' impl implicit interest rate is 12%. So the first thing we want to do is to determine at what price they're actually selling it, because it's a sales type of a lease. So we're going to figure out what the present value of the lease payments are. And again, we're going to be using uh, the present value of an annuity due because the payment is, the first payment is due right at the very beginning of the annuity. So our lease payment is going to be 391548 And we will be taking that times our present value of annuity due. If we look at our table there, our number of periods are going to be 20, so five years quarterly, so four times a year is 20 periods. Our rate is going to be 3% quarterly, okay, so it's going to give us a value of 15.3238. And so we come up with $6 million, and I'm going to change that to make things easier to just straight six million dollars. Okay, second we want to figure out um, what entries and we're going to what are we going to be reporting on our balance sheet. So let's figure out how our entries uh, go. First of all when we make the sale when we make the sale the selling price is going to be is going to be six million dollars. Okay, so we will have we're going to set up our lease receivable for six million dollars. Get those zeros right eventually. Okay. We have because it's a sale, we're going to do our cost of goods sold, and the value of our cost of goods sold is going to be five million because that's what we had produced it at. We're going to take it out of inventory. And we're going to reduce our inventory by $5 million. Okay, so that's taking care of the sale. And our sales revenue is going to be $6 million. So that's going to be recording our initial sale. We're going to record that first payment. We're going to debit cash. Our payment was $391,548. Because there was no interest accrued at that period of time, because it's just an initial payment, we're going to have 391,548 is also going to reduce our principal balance for um, for our receivable. So our receivable balance, our receivable balance is going to be six million minus the payment that we made and oops six million oh I missed <laughs> sorry about that it's gonna be six million minus three ninety one so five million six oh eight four fifty two is our receivable balance. Our next payment then works exactly like other examples. Our cash received is three ninety one five forty eight we're going to have interest income of our equal to 0.3% times that outstanding principal balance. So 168,253 and our lease receivable will be reduced by our payment minus the amount we're allocating towards interest revenue or 
294. And that is all to making the entries on a sales type lease.